collections strings the other day when i was booking a ticket i made a mistake while entering my pan card number it got a message saying last value in the pan card must be an alphabet do they process like do they process this like a list chan asked mark says you have just given a perfect example of a string a string just like a list is basically a sequence of values either alphabets or numbers enclosed within quotes in in a program not all values will be numerical we will have alphabetical or alphanumerical values such values are called strings example hello world a a b g t 6715 h each value in a string is called a character just like elements we can access the characters in a string based on its index position so you take string and uh, separate each character then each character is stored in an index like this in python string is a real type and anything enclosed in a single quote or a double quote is considered to be a string all the remaining operations are similar to list but like tuple strings are also immutable so you cannot modify an element in a string a character in a string say if uh, in, the, in the portion 3 index 2 if b is there trying to change the b with a z or any other number is not possible but overwriting these entire value is possible so accessing an element in index and trying to change it is not possible because strings are immutable like tuple try out the below code and observe the results this program this code is written in python so we say length of the card number this is the value it is length of pan card underscore number it is a variable name we get the value then we perform concatenation using a plus then we print the value then i iterate in the string using range function so we use a range function and uh, trying to access it uh, index by index so we take first index we will have a second index we will have a uh, then in zeroth index first index means zeroth was the index 1 will have a index 2 will have b like that we will, will try to access index by index then iterating the string using keyword in we don't have to use a range function we can directly use this in for value in pan card num pan card number then it takes 1 by 1 takes a print a then a b g t this way it prints then uh, searching for a character in a string if is it in a pan card number so it searches in the whole string if is it is present it says it if section is executed otherwise else section is executed then slicing the string you can also perform slicing pan card number 5 colon 9 so we take 5 colon 9 0 One when this in a is zero. One, two, three, four, five. Zero, one, two, three, four, five means it start from six. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine is exclusive. Will not consider H. So rest of the elements will be executed. So it gives us six seven one five. Then last but uh, one last but one three characters in the pan card number. So we use my negative slicing is also possible with which we take seven one five. Then we are trying to modify it results in error. Pan card number of two equal to a. We are trying to modify an element in a string so it it throws an error. String object does not support item assignment because strings are immutable there is a javascript code take a look at javascript same uh, length function is used uh, and then concatenation is used you take uh, value by value using a for loop so to see this uh, properly you can use um, we can use break so we'll get a look at this difference use a break now you want to after the pan card you would like to leave a break so i 
otherwise yes you can do it this way look at this so if you use a break be your tag it helps you to print in the next lines then finally go code so there is a pan code number they're trying to get the length of it then concatenation using plus symbol then trying to access it with a range function execute this and see the output so this is output of go code consider the following list of pan card numbers so pan card is a list which is going to have uh, one two three four five uh, pan card numbers each will be treated as a, a separate element what is the output of the below two print statements i have a shortcut so the first one says pan card list of three so we know that the index start from zero zero one two three in that sixth position zero one two three four five six in sixth position two is there so let's let's not look at other because at the end says this print of uh, by if you use a print by default uh, then uh, next print values will get printed in the next line but since you have used end equal to double quotes it leaves a space empty there is a space it leaves a space then it prints this value so we know that it is two so let's see uh, is there any uh, uh, output which has starting with a three so it has two but this two has no empty spaces so it, it must be this right so you have an explanation so pan card list of four in the fourth element uh, starting from th third zero one two three it starts from a till the end because you are not mention the end index what is the output of the code given below message has welcome to mysore and word we are slicing the message uh, last seven letters so minus seven means minus seven colon minus one so minus one e is minus one minus two minus three minus four minus five minus six minus seven including empty space so if word equal to equal to my zone look at this they use lower case m even if it, if it is minus six it should have been right but equal to equal to my soul so, so it has to come with an empty space and my soul so the safe condition fails so it goes to else part message is equal to message of 3 colon 14 so w is 0 1 2 3 it starts from here 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 so 14 is exclusive so come to my should be the output write a python program to generate the ticket numbers for specified number of passengers traveling in a flight as per the details mentioned below the ticket number should be generated as airline colon source colon destination colon number where consider ai as the value for airline air india SRC and DEST should be the first three characters of the source and the destination cities. If you say Chennai uh, is the source, we will have to take CHE. And if you say Bangalore is the destination, we will have to take BAN. Number should be auto generated starting from 101. The program should return the list of ticket numbers of the last five passengers. Note if passengers count is less than five, return the list of all generated ticket numbers. So example is even sample input AI is airline, source Bangalore, destination is London. So we take BAN, then LON, then number of passengers, they say 10. So if you say 10, starting from uh, 1012, uh, 1110. So after this, it could be. And uh, the program should return the list of ticket numbers of last five passengers. So totally 10 passengers, number of passengers 10. So we take 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And a uh, uh, passenger count is less than 5, yes, it's 2. Then return the list of generated tickets. So we can return, and this is a British Airlines, take first three letters, then here FRA, first three letters, then passengers, only two they have given, so 101 and 102. Let's look at the code, available code. So we have taken another um, list, total ticket list uh, for a purpose. So I take for T in range of 
one comma number of passengers plus one because they say if they given number of passengers seven we'll have to iterate loop seven times one two three four five six seven in this example they have given seven so to uh, so in the range function we'll have to mention one comma number of passengers plus one so which is one comma eight so the range function will execute one two three four five six seven up to seven it does not execute eight that's the reason we given one extra so ticket is equal to you know, just an empty string so now we have taken add line first two letters so, so 0 colon 2 slicing then source first three letters 0 colon 3 destination first three letters if you don't mention 0 then by default it takes three letters then uh, for the number number of passengers you know, so we have taken starting from 1 it is in a T so string of T because they said it will have to start from uh, 101 so first number starts so 1 plus 100 101 it becomes 101 then we convert as a string then add it to the string integer cannot be added to the string until unless it is converted then we have a total ticket list dot append so when the ticket number is generated then it is uh, we, we append it then add it to this list we generate ticket numbers then append it to the list the next part comes in if total ticket list is because they, they are, if, when it is above 5 they have given as um, the program should return the list of ticket numbers of last 5 passengers right if it is going to be less than 5 then we copy the entire list if it's going to be above 5 we take only last 5 passengers so if total uh, length of total ticket list is greater than 5 then the moment you mention minus 5 it takes last 5 elements and copy to this when it is less than 5 the elements was less than 5 you will have to take all the elements so I am taking all the elements of total ticket list to the ticket number list so both are list then finally I am returning it right then we get the output you try to execute this if you get the output that's fine if you don't get the output at least check whether it is verified yes all the test cases are verified just to see the output of this program I have copied it on repel.8 uh, online compiler so I just checked if it is 7 it, it gives us starting from 3 4 5 6 7 5 elements returns if it is going to be 3 it is going to give us only 3 elements 